So what I like to say is, is your DNA is not your outcome. DNA is not everything, yeah? It's just really interesting information. The way I like to say it is your DNA loads the gun and your lifestyle pulls the trigger. So for myself, um, bless mum and dad, I love them absolutely dearly, but they gave me some pretty shocking genes. And um, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm impregnating women, I'm not even touching them, no. Um, uh, so in my family history, there's, uh, we have Alzheimer's gene. And I know being a little kid, it was terrible going to the nursing home and seeing your grandparent who was once the life of the party, not even remember who you are. And so there's two kind of camps to genetic testing. It took a long time for me to convince mum and dad that this was really good because I believe in prevention is better than cure. Mum and dad were like, I don't want to know. So one of the genes that we carry or that, that we all carry is an APOE gene. And an APOE2 is someone that can smoke a pack of cigarettes a day and live till they're 100. You know, you know those freaks. And then uh, APOE3 is usually the majority of people. And this is the type of person that could maybe smoke their whole life, maybe not die of lung cancer, but die of heart disease. And then APOE4, thanks mum and dad, I've got two of these. Uh, this is the type of person that never smokes a cigarette in their life, yet dies of lung cancer from passive smoking. So this gene here is heavily linked to Alzheimer's, right? And because I have a 4-4, it gives me 20 times more likelihood of developing early onset Alzheimer's at age 65. So I just turned 30, which means I'm kind of almost halfway there, but I'm not scared of that. So when you talk about your gene expression, knowing that we can prevent this through diet, through lifestyle, through diet and lifestyle, um, we, can, we can change that.